Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Physics 20, Simple Harmonic Motion, Lesson 3, Pendulums, Part 2. Now, every day astronaut lands on the moon. She uses a simple pendulum with a period of 1.6 seconds and a length of 5.5 meters. What is gravitational acceleration on the moon, G-moon? Well, a simple picture. G equals 2 pi square root of L over G. In this instance, we're solving for G-moon. We don't know. So, I feel like rearranging the equation. So, since we're looking for g, that's the square root of g, we've got to square both sides. So, this becomes t squared equals 4 squared pi squared l divided by g. Now, here we do a little cross multiplying. g is 4, wait, not 4 pi squared, 4 squared. Let's stop that, Mr. Sutton. Pi squared L divided by T squared. So that's 4 times pi squared. Now the length, 5.5 meters divided by the period of 11.6 seconds. So plug the numbers in. And I got 1.63. Right now, so far so good. Yeah, it's one formula, and you're rearranging this. So, determine the length of a pendulum that have a period of one minute. I'm not going to do that. Actually, we did that earlier. It comes out to be about 900 meters. So it comes back here. 59.9 seconds. The length was 891 meters. So we already did this question. So I'm going to skip it. I'm going to go on to resonance, the other part of simple, the last bit of simple harmonic motion. Now, object, objects like pendulums only have one variable affecting the simple harmonic motion, length, because g is constant, and that should be little g, my apologies. This means that these objects have a natural oscillating frequency, period frequency. Now, this is, this is called the object's resonance frequency. Now, resonance frequency is the natural frequency of vibration of an object. Now, tuning fork is an excellent example of this. It vibrates at a certain frequency. Now, now, ignoring outside forces, once a simple harmonic object is set into motion, it will continue to vibrate at its resonance frequency forever. However, near life friction and air resistance can change the motion of an oscillator. Now, in order to maintain the resonance, a small force needs to be applied. This is called the forced frequency. The forced frequency, when a force is added to an oscillator to keep it resonating. Forced frequencies cause the amplitude motion to constantly increase. This leads to some awesome results. Now, an example of forced frequency is pushing a swinger on a swing set. Here's a kid in a swing set. You push him. A very small force needs to keep the sw singer, swinger blech, in simple harmonic motion. This is forced frequency. If a larger force is applied, the amplitude of the swinger increases. Now, analog clocks also need a small force to keep their gears in time. This is provided by an electrically charged oscillating quartz crystal, hence why the, all the nice clocks are called quartz, because they have a crystal and keep them period and their time. Now, resonance can also have some nasty or disastrous effects. In July 1940, the Tacoma Narrows Bridge finished construction had a length of 1,524 meters. However, engineers did not account for the effect of resonance. On November 7, 1940, July, you know, it's open in, in, sorry, open in July and November, the wind provided a small force on the bridge causing it to vibrate. The wind was such that the forced frequency, a forced frequency was produced. The force continued to increase slightly, increasing the amplitude. Now, I'm going to say a video here. I'm going to play it. I'll provide a link, but I'm going to be quiet and you can watch this. And you can see that bridge flexing. <laughs> and that's not strong winds. Hence the nickname for the bridge, the Galloping Gertie. Imagine driving over that. No. 
Now, I don't know if you can hear the music in the background, but you, if you look carefully, well, relatively carefully, you can see a car. And you can see the, it's hard to see, but there's a car there. And you can see the road starting to break. Now you can see the car from this angle. Yep. And look at that. That's a solid steel that's a steel bridge with steel reinforcing cables and that's flexing like that in a modest wind because the wind is blowing at just the right angle and in just the right frequency to add energy to this. And that is a six or an eight inch cable. Observe how it's moving. It's a little hard to see, but that's moving backwards and forwards in the wind. That might be actually bigger than a six inch. It might be a foot long diameter. That's a big cable. You can see the whole thing. Flipping. And now you can clearly see the car. Now, Professor Farkinson missed his life for a dog in the car. Fellow tried driving over on a dare, got scared and jumped out, ran partway through and left his dog in the car. Idiot. Now there he is trying to reach the car, but he can't. As I said, not the best film, but it is like uh, 80 years old, so. Trying to reach the dog, you can see, now if you look closer, yeah, he's coming back, because he's, can't do it. And I don't blame him. Looks like he's crawling part of the way. Yeah, that's how people die. Just holding this pipe going, no, I can't do that. And I don't blame him. Still there, and look at that bridge going. Now, if you're having a little trouble seeing this, I'll provide the link to the video so you can watch it. And then it collapses. Let's go. And there it goes. And there goes the car with the dog in it. No, the dog didn't make it. whole thing just falls apart. Yep. And once that part goes, yep. The whole thing's still flexing. Yes. And there she goes. Let's go. And nothing structurally wrong with the bridge. They just when they built it, it was like a tuning fork. Just a little bit of wind at just the right angle makes the whole thing vibrate. And the dog didn't make it. I'm going to pause the recording there, because, yeah, I'll provide a link to the whole thing. Now, as I said, the force continued to increase slightly, increasing the amplitude of the bridge. Now, a similar disaster took place in 19, or, sorry, 1815 in Algiers, France, when 478 French soldiers marched across the bridge in step, left, right, left, right, causing a forced frequency, and the bridge collapsed. Now, this is not a picture, this is a drawing they made afterwards of what it looked like. The whole bridge let go, and hundreds of guys died. Now, this is a common problem because resonance can also occur in large skyscrapers, although most now have vibrating masses near the tops to counteract these effects. So they'll build a counterweight in there to counteract the vibrations, which is something they you know, have to do, otherwise things fall apart. Now, that's it for resonance and forced frequency and simple harmonic motion. So, if you guys have any questions, shoot me an email. Otherwise, good luck. See you in class. Work on the homework, please.